welcome back. I hope you are enjoying the beautiful warm weather lately since it is summer. Well, at least in most countries it is not in Australia. It is actually winter and bloody freezing cold like every day. But since it is summer for most of you guys, I thought I would introduce my current favourite SPFs that I have been using for probably about the last month or so. So obviously whether it is summer or winter or if you're inside or outside, if you are exposed to some form of UV rays, you should be wearing a sunscreen every day. Before I get into the reviews, I will mention that all of these SPFs are SPF 50 plus and PA++++, which means they are all very high protection of both UVA and UVB rays. I also do have a mixture of chemical and physical sunscreen since a lot of people do usually have a preference. If you do not know the difference between the two, I will quickly go through them now. So chemical sunscreens are absorbed into the skin, it absorbs the UV rays and then converts them into heat to be released. So the pros of these sunscreens are they usually are able to be formulated really, really lightweight, which allows them to be absorbed very easily it works for oilier skin users it doesn't leave any white cast and it also allows for other ingredients to be formulated easier like a lot of skincare ingredients Cons are that it can be irritating for a lot of sensitive skin users and it also does take about 20 minutes to be absorbed and be effective so you have to make sure that you apply it at least 20 minutes before you are leaving the house. Versus a physical or sometimes called mineral sunscreen so this one is more a protective layer that sits on top of your skin so it actually reflects the UV rays rather than them being absorbed. So the pros are that it is brief safe and also ideal for sensitive skin users since the product isn't absorbed into the skin. It is also effective immediately so you can just chuck it on and head straight out. You don't have to wait the 20 minutes for it to be effective. The cons can be that they are usually are of a thicker texture, a little bit harder to blend and can cause white cast for some people especially with darker skin. So that is the general difference and I'm just going to dive right in to these little babies. So the first one is something that if you have followed my channel for a while, you have probably heard it and it is the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence. This is the renewed version. They renewed it, I think a couple of years ago now. It is a chemical sunscreen and it comes in a 50 ml bottle, although I believe in Japan, they often do limited releases of the bigger versions of the bottle too. Some skincare ingredients, they include a hyaluronic acid and honey, which makes it a bit more moisturizing and hydrating, but it does include ethanol and also fragrance. They say it is a gentle, white muge, muge fragrance which I think is like floral although I always remember it being kind of like citrus maybe the renewed version smells kind of different but it does have added fragrance and also ethanol <laughs> cry so it is obviously a simple twist top tube the packaging has pretty much stayed the exact same since the old one except this aqua rich text is like slightly different but besides that it is like the exact same as the old version so the texture is super duper lightweight it is called a watery essence and it is definitely watery this is because it actually includes little water capsules that burst on your skin as it's applied that's how they kind of make that really really lightweight watery texture and it has a slight cooling feeling as well which is really nice in the summer so my thoughts on this as you probably already know it is one of the most lightweight sunscreen I have used I love it for the texture you can reapply it so many times without it being heavy or gluggy or change the texture or peel on your skin at all it's just great for those really hot sticky summer days and if you also have oily skin as well and with the renewal they came up with this new micro defense technology which is apparently just like a world first they include nano capsules that basically cover and get in into all those tiny little crevices like when you smile and then when you do this and stuff in all those little wrinkles the SPF kind of protection starts to part and create crevices but with this one they have made these particles that apparently just sit in those crevices and really give you a full protection while it is on. It is also super waterproof as they claim and can be worn in water up to 80 minutes but it does wash off with soap so it's not very sticky or clingy on the skin. Although my biggest con of this one is that the alcohol is very high up on the list. It is second on the list which is you know, you know. I feel like I didn't really notice it in the past and in the past I definitely didn't pay as much attention to the ingredients list as I do now. Since I was away from it for a while, when I apply it now I can really smell the alcohol in the product which is crazy. I feel like I never smelt it before but now even when I applied a little bit before 
I just get a whiff of that alcohol smell. It even says on the packaging if you have particularly sensitive skin to not use this product so I guess the brand is aware that it can be a little bit harsh for those of you who do have sensitive skin. Everything else about it I love except for the fact that it does have ethanol very high up on the list which is a real shame. I do still love it. The texture is so nice. Just wish they could create something that is the same without ethanol or at least it be a lesser amount but if you are looking for a super lightweight watery not like a sunscreen sunscreen the bra uv is still a favorite the next one i have is the perito centella green level safe sun sunscreen they do have multiple spfs but this one is a chemical sunscreen and it comes in a 60 ml bottle so slightly bigger than the biore one it does include i mean it's in the name right there centella asiatica which you guys know i love so it helps to soothe and heal the skin it does also have hyaluronic acid to hydrate and then also vitamin vitamin E which helps to protect our skin from free radicals. As you probably already know all of Pareto's ingredients are EWG standard of levels 1 to 2 so they are super gentle, safe for the skin and they do not use any harmful additives or ingredients. It is free from paraben, PEGs and artificial fragrance although it does have essential oils, lavender essential oil to add some fragrance. It is also cruelty free and 100% vegan. So the same sort of bottle is again just a twisty tube although it's a little bit thinner and taller which I actually like. It kind of fits nicely in the hand. So the texture is honestly beautiful. It's like a slightly thick gel like texture and it blends seamlessly really really easily and glides across the skin. It has absolutely no white cast and it leaves just a very very subtle glow but nothing intense and no tackiness or stickiness once it has been applied. This is a chemical sunscreen although Pareto claims that they have removed all of the typical ingredients found to be irritants in chemical sunscreen so even for people with sensitive skin this is going to be okay as they say also doesn't cause like eye irritation which a lot of people get from chemical sunscreens this is one of my favorite if not number one Korean sunscreen that I have tried so far it is so lightweight and I love the texture it leaves it does not peel and I do also think it is a chemical sunscreen that a lot of physical sunscreen lovers could get behind because of the ingredients list the skin and lab free sea sun lotion it is a chemical physical combo sunscreen and it comes in a 50 mil too. So this one has quite a few skincare ingredients. It's got vitamin C which is obviously brightening and it has so many other benefits as well as centella. Again helps to heal and soothe skin and then also includes vitamin E. It is also free from paraben and ethanol which is great. Cruelty free although it does contain added fragrance. Again the same sort of bottle. I think they're all like typically the same bottle just a twist top tube but I do really like the bright orange. I think it's a nice refreshing packaging and very simple but like a aesthetic label. This one the texture is very lightweight. It's actually quite similar to the Biore one. Maybe like slightly thicker but it has definitely that watery texture to it so it's very very nice and lightweight and glides onto the skin and it definitely leaves a glow compared to the other sunscreens although it is not sticky or oily which is great. So with this one I definitely love it for the texture. There is no white cast, no heaviness and it is ethanol alcohol free. So compared to the Biore that is a good thing about it and it is a similar texture so I definitely really love that about this one. And I do like the inclusion of vitamin C which I feel like you don't really see in sunscreen products. Some may argue that this makes it kind of easier to oxidize and expire quicker although it is sunscreen so I feel like you should be going through it quick enough that it won't be affected too much by oxidation. Some people might not be a huge fan of the glowiness and it might be a little bit too much for oily skin users but I personally love the glowy finish. It definitely has a obvious glow and I think it looks very nice underneath makeup and it gives you that kind of glass skin look which I personally love. Although I don't know if like the whole chemical physical combo is kind of like a selling point per se but the brand does claim it's kind of like best of both worlds getting the good parts of both physical and chemical sunscreen definitely one of my favorites 
lately. So the last one is the Sun By Me True Seeker Mineral 100 Calming Sun Cream. So this one is 100% a mineral or physical sunscreen and it comes in a 50ml bottle as well. So this one has quite a few skincare ingredients as well. It has mugwort extract which helps to calm and soothe the skin. It also obviously has Centella Asiatica. Seeker is in the name. I don't think I have to repeat myself on the benefits of Centella. <laughs> and then it also has tea tree leaf water which helps to calm down the skin and also helps to control sebum as well. It is free from 20 harmful ingredients. I will pop them up somewhere on the screen that Sun By Me has kind of claimed to be harmful. So it is free from all of those harmful ingredients and it is free from artificial fragrance. But once again, it does have essential oil as fragrance. It uses lavender essential oil. Tape sort of bottle, twist top. I feel like it's a bit of like a thicker plastic. So it makes it seem a little bulkier compared to the other bottles, even though it is the same amount. And of course the texture is going to be a little bit thicker because it is a mineral sunscreen definitely the thickest out of all four of them although it does still blend in very nicely i do not experience any white cast although after seeing a couple reviews i did see that some people with dark skin tones found that there was a slight white cast although they said it was more like a tone up effect than it being like an obvious white cast it does dry down to a pretty matte finish it doesn't have any tackiness to it and it doesn't really have a glow either so i'm not typically a physical sunscreen person although this definitely makes you forget that it is a physical sunscreen it is a little bit thicker than the most lightweight ones but still it blends so easily and i do kind of like that tone up effect that i mentioned earlier it helps my skin look a little bit brighter which is always nice i love everything about this sunscreen i would definitely interchange it with any of my other ones especially during winter maybe for summer i might still stick to my more lightweight one but it it is pretty much indifferent to especially like the Prudo one it is very very similar the only thing I found was that when I wore it without makeup and then wore a mask it did peel under my skin compared to the other ones that did not peel at all I know that's not a typical scenario but in recent times due to the virus I have been wearing the sunscreen because I do still have some of my skin bare even if I wear a mask but I haven't been wearing makeup to work since I am wearing a mask and I found that where I wore it under the mask it did tend to peel on the skin and kind of like remove itself off so that was the only con it did peel under just mask and rubbing I guess without makeup but when I wore it with makeup and without a mask it was fine it did not peel or anything same with all the other ones none of them peeled lastly this is kind of like an extra little thing but I always find it's good to wear SPF on your lips as well and I have been doing this since forever because Japanese lip balms do tend to always include SPF which is great the one I have been using lately is the methylated melty cream lip in rich honey and I'm just gonna apply some down. <laughs> I actually am only wearing this lip balm today. I'm not wearing any lip tint or lipstick or anything. I'm just wearing the lip balm and look at that finish. I love it. Wearing the SPF on your lips obviously prevents dryness and it also helps to keep the vibrance of your lip color. This one has SPF 25 and a PA++. It includes so many like nourishing ingredients. Oh my gosh, I've got it here. I'm gonna read it off for you. It's got squalane, shea butter, three types of ceramides, honey, avocado, macadamia, jojoba, and olive oil. So it's got all of the nice good ingredients. When you apply it, it kind of like melts with your body temperature, I guess. It's all really like nice and glossy and melty and bouncy and all that but it isn't sticky like a gloss but it still gives that glossy effect with it still being a lip balm which is um, super nice. So the fragrance I have is Rich Honey but they also have unscented, they have vanilla milk which I'm very curious about and they also have a green tea one which I'm so tempted to try and definitely going to get my hands on next time. I will also mention all of these products are available on Yestal which I think is great because Yestal is a lot more accessible to kind of everyone across the world. It ships to a lot of different countries and they are still shipping even through COVID and all of that so i will have all of the product links in the description below so please check it out if you do want to get your hands on some of these but regardless i really hope you are all protecting your skin in the summer especially if you're going out but even if you're inside and even if it's winter for you like me you should be wearing spf every single day let me know if you've actually tried any of these and what you think of them or what your recommended spf is so we can all share a little info and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye!